Hey, Casket here. So I wish I was doing a video today on smoking. Maybe some ribs, maybe a pork shoulder, maybe a 16 hour brisket. No such luck. Today I'm showing you how to fix a hot tub. So my wife bought me a hot tub last November for my birthday. Six months later, this is now May, and it quit heating the other day. I've determined that it is the heater relay board that went bad and I'm going to show you how to detect and determine uh, that it was the heater relay board and how to repair that. I have the, port, the part ordered uh, and it won't be here until Monday so I'll show you Monday uh, which is about five days from now how to replace the heater relay board. This is a Caldera Paradise series and it's the Hawaiian model. So there was a couple of clues with regards to this heater failing on this Caldera Paradise Hawaiian hot tub. The first thing I noticed that it was set to 104 as you can see but it dropped and it kind of stabilized it around 96 degrees. And it held at 96 for a couple of days. Kind of told me that the heating element was probably getting electricity, but it wasn't getting enough. And if you look at the display, the temperature light is not flashing. If the temperature light is flashing on most of these hot tubs, or there's an error indicator, it usually means that there's an issue with the high limit sensor or the pressure switch or the thermistor. So I'm not getting any of those error codes on the uh, display. I should mention uh, in this video you're seeing the temperature light flicker but in reality it is not. Uh, you're seeing the temperature light flicker, and you're seeing the 82 and the F uh, flicker, and in reality they are not. Uh, it's This is an, an anomaly of the video camera. So um, just for uh, clarification, as you're watching this display, none of these indicators are flashing. They are all solid. And of course the pumps work, so the issue is going either going to be with the heater, the heater relay board or the heater control board, or the main controller board. So once again, let's go under the hood and we'll see what we can find out. Okay, so it's Monday and the new board has arrived. Here's the new one. Here's the old one. I've already removed uh, the feed for the main 240 volt lines right here. I've removed the, the leads for the heater, which is down below here. And I want to point out quickly with my voltmeter, uh, I was only getting from the ground to the one lead for the heater, nothing. The other lead to the heater was 110 volts. And testing both leads here was zero. And this should be 240 volts between these two contacts. That tells me that this, more than likely, this is a bad board. And like I said, I've already begun removing it. And once I removed it, there you go. You can see where it burnt. Uh, the relay had burnt, uh, which is a good sign because that means the heater is, is good and it was the board that went bad. You can also see a little bit of brown, a little bit of melting 
there on the uh, control board, on the heater relay, relay control board. I'll also mention, you'll, you'll see in the photos, um, previous, that the limb light was green right there, which indicated that the limit, the high limit sensor and the circuitry for the high limit switch and the uh, pressure switch uh, is working properly. And also when I had the heater turned up, you'll see that the heater light was on and was red indicating that the control unit is calling for heat. So that's a good sign. The other sign is when I took this panel off, when I took the cover off this control panel, I, I smelt something burning. And uh, you can actually see, you can see the soot buildup uh, that occurred when that relay went. So I'm going to install the new one now. I'm not gonna leave the camera run because I'm running low on memory, unfortunately, so be back shortly okay so I'm back the new board is installed and I wanted to show you that uh, the leads going to the heater now I'm getting 220 volts before I wasn't getting anything I was getting zero uh, so as I was showing you uh, both hot legs of the heater now we're showing 200 Right around 225 volts. Leg to ground, one side is 114. Leg to ground on the other side is about 110, and that's about what we were getting on the other one, which would explain why the heater was maintaining maintaining 96 degrees. So um, we now have the red light here, showing that the control board, main control board, is calling for heat. The green light in indicates that the uh, high limit switch and the, the high limit sensor is operating properly. The thermistor is operating properly. And the pressure switch, by the way, uh, I just replaced, which is right here. Here's another view of it. Here's the old pressure switch, and you can actually see this is the way it came off. And if you see the manufacturer put a dab of paint on there and I'll bring it back that's where it was this is really where it should have been like that that might be the explanation for the relay board going bad okay I'm back as I was saying before I ran out of memory uh, that the, the pressure switch being out of adjustment or failing uh, can cause a fluttering relay uh, the relay that starts to flutter uh, and over a period of time uh, will eventually fail. So that it could have been the case here. I don't really know. Uh, but for what, 25 or 30 bucks, uh, it's cheap insurance just to go ahead and replace the uh, pressure switch. Um, so as you can see, we're back to 103 degrees. And I've got it set at 103. The set temp's 103. Once again, I'll remind you, it's not flashing when I'm looking at it, but through the video, it's flashing. Uh, probably similar to the raster lines you used to see in the old cathode ray tube televisions, where the electron beam would give uh, the horizontal lines. You'd only be able to catch that if you were videotaping an old cathode ray tube and see the lines called raster lines. So we're uh, back up fully operational. And uh, I hope this video helped. Um, like I said, if you have a, a newer model hot tub with a circuit board and it stops heating, don't just assume that it's the heater. Uh, it could be the heater relay board as well. And uh, it could be a few other things, but either the heater relay board or, or the heater itself. So, until next time, happy hot tubbing.